club and they were dressed up and sitting there, would you then ask one out? Oh, yeah, they, they look fine. I'd ask one out. And then, but my, my wife might get upset. Oh, okay, wait, wait. Wait a minute, then I, need, I need a single guy over here. Wait a minute, give me, give me like this guy right here in this suit. Yes, sir, stand up. Looking good and everything. Look, look down there. What do you think of those ladies? Would you, would you go out with them even though they're restricted? I'd love to, but I'm, I'm having problems with the regular ladies, so. Uh, <laughs> you know, I'm getting turned off. I'm, 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 you know. You have a problem getting a date no matter what. Is that what you're saying? Um... No, I, I... That's on the next show. Dating game for, <laughs> for, for, for men who can't find... I'll tell you what, we're gonna take a break, and when we come back, we're gonna begin the show, if you will, and we're gonna begin by letting our contestants see their stripper in action one-on-one. -on -one. And we're gonna start with Wendy and see how come they call you Wendy Whoppers. We'll be back right after this. difficult it is for a stripper to get a date and so we decided to put together our own little dating game and it's called the strip dating game I don't know if somebody will probably syndicate this one day and it'll be a big hit let's meet our three contestants bachelors that we chose from our audience please welcome mr. Scott Kaplan mr. William Velez and mr. Eddie Deutsch thank you very much for being here your questions. I know that we had a producer like beating everybody to death that was in our audience that, that showed up for the last couple of shows while we're here in New York trying to find guys who would be willing to go out with uh, our first stripper. And this is Wendy. Now, gentlemen, why did you agree to go out with Wendy? Scott, you start. Well, uh, strippers are people too. Uh, <laughs> yeah, especially, especially the ones that are size 80 H H H. Is that? I didn't know that before. Oh, you didn't know that. <laughs> All right, well, William, did we tell you about this? Yeah, I knew. I saw the picture up on you. And you said I have to be here, right? Good. All right. Well, now, Eddie, how about you? Well, after seeing Wendy's picture, any red-blooded American would want to go out with something like that. I can, <laughs> I can understand that. Red-blooded high blood pressure type of guy. Well, I'll tell you what, maybe what we ought to do is let America take a look at what you got to see in the picture. Let's please welcome Wendy Whoppers! very special day and a very very special dating game with strippers and you had a question for our strippers before we bring their their potential dates back out yes I want to know do they recommend this uh, line of work to anybody else if someone young they meet somebody in a bar and they talking about doing this would you recommend this type of work to anybody would any of you would you recommend I this would, to anybody yeah. you I would, would yeah Wendy? yeah you, you know it's a uh, it's basically easy work you know, you just gotta have the balls to get out there and do it. <laughs> or, or the something, or yeah, the, the something. <laughs> okay, I yes, like to ask, so where does she buy her bras? I have them all custom made. And at 80, you'd have to, I think. Yes, <laughs> yes ma'am. Do they hurt? Uh, no, only when I jump up and down really harder. <laughs> okay, yes, sir. Uh, is Verdell gonna give these guys a show on a date? A give them a show? A, well, if they ask for it, yeah. Do you do that on, on most of your dates? If, if your potential date asks you to put on a little show, would you do it? Well, not really, but if I'm really, if I like the person a lot and they ask me in a nice, seductive way, I probably would. Yes, ma'am. This question is for either one of them. Uh, how does your family perceive you? By that I mean, how would your mother talk about you to her friends or relatives? Okay. How do, what does your family think about you stripping? They don't so much mind the stripping, it's just the magazines and the movies that they don't appreciate so much. What, what movies are you in? Um, Palm Springs or Bust. 
and I have my own line of videos. Uh, Are these TNT X-rated videos? Triple X, yeah. Tri tri oh. yeah. <laughs> okay. How old were you when you first got involved in stripping, and how old are you now? Um, I was 17 when I started. I'm 23 now. How about each one of you? How old were, were you, Jerry? How old? Um, 21. I just started about a year ago. I'm now 22. Verdell, how old are you? Uh, 21. 21. Now I'm 23. Paul? I was about 25. How old are you now? 30. <laughs> My question is for all of you, where do you see yourselves in the next five, ten years? Uh, making a great deal of money still and putting a lot of it in the bank so we can start our own business. Okay, how about anybody else? Verdell, where do you see yourself in five years? Well, the next five years, I plan on, well, the next two years, I'm going to stop dancing and open up <clears throat> my own health club. Right, yes, ma'am. Okay, my question is for Wendy. I was wondering, have you ever thought of having children, and how would you be instructed if you wanted to breastfeed them? Have um, you ever thought yeah, of that? Yeah, I, I do, I do want to have children, but before I do that, I'm definitely going to get a reduction because I think that would be too much to be pregnant and have these at the same time. Yeah, you know, there was a woman, there was a woman in Canada who was, who was like 34, and then she became pregnant, and they went to like 60. You're at 80. If you put on the same amount, you, you would like, you could kill people. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> My question is to the women. What do you wear when you do go on a date? Um, well, I try to dress down as much as I can. You know, I wear a jacket over whatever I'm wearing, or I wear something that just makes me look a little chubby, basically. Nothing too revealing. Uh, my question is for everybody. Have you ever been in love or met anybody that you want to settle down with or be with? Sure. Yeah. Plenty of times. And what happened? What happened? Plenty. Wait, plenty of times? Plenty of times. Well, what happened? Yeah, you go through them like, and it's not, it's not my fault. They get intimidated. They think that you're cheating on them or they can't, you know, stand the uh, competition. I don't un understand what it is. My question's for everybody. You always say that nobody takes you seriously. Will you take people seriously in relationships? You're around so many other people who are always on to you. Anybody. Well, we take the one that we are dating or going out with seriously. The at the time? That, yeah, at the time. The so, ones that approach us when we're performing, that's all we're doing is performing. So Friday night okay. you're serious with one, Saturday night you're serious with someone else? Uh, no, it's not quite like oh, that. Yeah. <laughs> they make it seem what their job is, what they're doing is so glamorous. Is it that glamorous? Oh, uh, yes it is. Uh, our group is uh, pretty elite, like I said. Uh, everything's choreographed and it's performed very well. Yes, sir. You keep saying that you do it just for the money. When you're out there, do you really get aroused and turned on? Wait a minute, let me ask that question. You ask that question over here. <laughs> Who's getting turned on here? No. <laughs> I mean, do you, do you want to, like, take it to the next step? We get a natural high from dancing and, and being in front of all those girls, but that's about it. Well, how about the ladies? Do you get turned on while you do no. your acts? No. It's not so much a turn on. It's just a rush of energy and just... Fun. I'd like to say something in defense of the strippers. Uh, Please do. Yay. I think that some of the self-righteous uh, undertones to some of the comments, um, people aren't looking what they do for a living. I mean, some of us are corporate whores, and there's really not a whole. <laughs> we don't like what we do, but we do it for the money. Wow. Wow. Yes, ma'am. What was the longest your relationship has lasted in the past? What was the longest relationship you've ever had in the past? Four Wendy? Four years. How long? Four years. Four years? Jerry, how about you? I've dated a girl for three years. Two years? Three. Three. Verdell? One. One? Yeah, my Paul? last one's about a, a year. A year. Four okay, years. what we have to do now is we have to see who our audience has selected for the dates for our strippers. So let's bring them out. If you could go back behind, we'll bring them out. Let's see, we're going to bring out the first group. And how we'll do this is we'll have all three gentlemen right here, and I'll let the audience do the picking. This is for Wendy. So, is it bachelor number one? Is it bachelor number two? Is it bachelor number four? How about bachelor number three? Well. All right, thank you, gentlemen. Eddie, go up here and have a seat. Okay, Eddie, uh, we got to go on, but I just have to ask you. I don't know if I can come here. I'll, 
I was gonna ask you a question. That's all right. Let's let's bring out the next group. Oh yes. And our bachelorettes for Jerry right here, ladies, facing the audience. Let's try bachelorette number one. Bachelorette number two. Bachelorette number three. It's bachelorette number one. Thank you, ladies. You can take this seat right here. And I think we have some more. Bring out the next group. You better, you'd have to start giving those out to the entire audience, I think. Oh, no way. <laughs> okay, for Verdell. Are we ready? Bachelor number one. Bachelor number two. Bachelor number three. It looks like number two. Yes, sir. Okay, gentlemen. And we have one more group for Paul, the bachelorette for Paul. Me. Me. <laughs> All right, let's start it up again. Is it bachelorette number, well, this, she was three in a chair, but she's number one now. Number one. Number two. Well, this seems really close. Number three. I don't know, do we have to do that again? Do it again. Do it again, all right. Let's go for a different order. Number two. Number one. Number three. Huh, is it a tie? Is it a tie? Is it a tie? Well, wait a minute. If we're gonna have, if we're gonna have a tie, then all three ought to go. Three of you, come up here and sit down in that chair. <laughs> now, let, let's start back over here with Eddie again. Eddie, Eddie, yes. what do you think? I mean, are you going to be thinking about this date for the next until it happens? I'm going to be thinking it for a long, <laughs> long, long time. <laughs> what do you think? I say, show me to the Harley. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Do I get to go twice? <laughs> well, now, Verdell said if you ask her really nice and, and seductively, she might do a strip for you. Now, wait a minute. I want to... No, Glad, stand up. I want, I want you... Don't look at her. Look out there. Give, him, give, give her now... Give her now that, that seductive look that you can have. Give it to her. Let's do it. <laughs> now... Now, not only with the seductive look, mm -hmm. but now I want you to have a seductive look and ask. Say, say, Riddell, strip for me, baby. <laughs> Are you ready? I'm ready. Do it. Seductive, he's got, they, they will be okay, the judge. Okay, ready? Okay, okay. Do it. Riddell, strip for me, baby, please. <laughs> Is that good enough? Yes, yes, yes. It might work. All right, we'll sit back down. Let's see. <laughs> All three of you, how are you going to split this guy up? <laughs> hey, we'll, we'll Wait, I see. <laughs> you you like the buns, you like the <laughs> hair, and you like the brains. I'll go for the brains. Well, I'll share you, though. You'll share I'll though. I'll share. This could be a tough act uh, for you to get into. Ah, uh, it sounds like fun to me. <laughs> sounds like fun. <laughs> sounds like fun for me too. <laughs> well, we gotta take a break, and we'll be back in just a second and send them off on their date. I think the best way to send our, our dates out on their date is with a personal little dance by their strippers. So let's hear some music. Let's watch them do their thing for their dates. Woo! 